Good evening and welcome to the Daily Market Update. The DSEX remained in the red zone for the fifth consecutive day and lost 49.34 points or 0.86%, settling at 5,679 points. Market turnover was 6.79 billion Bangladeshi takas, which is an increase of 0.58% compared to the previous trading day. Walton High Tech Industries and GPH ISPAT from the industrial sector, United Power Generation and Distribution, Tita's Gas Transmission and Kulno Power Company from the fuel and power sector, NIFIC Bank, United Commercial Bank and First Security Islami Bank from the banking sector mainly dragged the market down today. In terms of sector-wise return, almost all the sectors posted a loss today in which the insurance sector posted the highest loss of 2.63% and industrial sector registered the second highest loss of 2.27% today. Five pharmaceuticals and four textile companies were among the top 20 losers today. National Tea Company, South Bangla Agriculture and Commerce Bank and Libra Infusions registered the highest gain while Rupali Life Insurance Company, Intraco Refueling Station and Sea Pearl Beach Resort and Spa were the top losers today. The value of South Bangla Agriculture and Commerce Bank rose today as MS Vicar International, where Mr. Mohammed Nazmul Haq is the managing partner of MS Vicar International and also a nominated director of SBAC Bank PLC, has expressed its intention to buy 25 million shares of SBAC Bank PLC at prevailing market prices. There is no publicly disclosed price sensitive information for the price change of the remaining stocks. The trading volume of Renwick Jagneshwar and Company, Premier Leasing and Finance, and Migna Condensed Milk Industries increased significantly today compared to the average trading volume of the last three months. There was no publicly disclosed fundamental reason for the volume increase for the above-mentioned stocks. Top 2 News Today the Bangladesh Bank has eased the import process for raw materials and capital machinery to boost business activity and ensure a steady supply of essential consumer goods in the local market. Under the new guidelines, banks can now set margin levels for opening letters of credit LCs, based on their relationships with clients. However, importers will still be required to pay 100% margins for LCs on luxury items and import substitutes. Provision shortfalls among banks in Bangladesh have worsened, driven by a surge in default loans, with 10 banks reporting a combined deficit of 31,549 core Bangladeshi takas as of June, according to Bangladesh Bank data. The deficit includes four state-owned and six private banks, and the actual shortfall may be even higher due to provision deferral facilities granted to several banks. The rising shortfalls are mainly attributed to an increase in non-performing loans. To address the crisis, banks will need to prioritize loan recovery and capital injection, along with a push for stronger governance within the sector. That's all for today. Thank you.